Huntsville on the inside, down by the seaside, Huntsville, Huntsville. Holds For horse breeders, four-year-old Huntsville is the sure bet. He was extremely successful on the track. He was a two-year-old colt of the year. He was the fastest three-year-old of his three-year-old season. He won the uh, Meadowlands Pace uh, this summer at the Meadowlands, and uh, so he's been a terrific racehorse. The owner at Cameo Hills Farm says Huntsville is already booked for the year at the maximum amount of mares he can breed with. Cameo Hills Farm is in commercial breeding with dozens of pregnant horses as well, and the farm is about to hit a busy season. Breeding and foaling overlap. Uh, the breeding season starts in the middle of February and ends around the 4th of July. Uh, gestation for a uh, horse is just over 11 months, so we're breeding them back shortly after they foal. According to the Agriculture and New York State Horse Breeding Development Fund, the amount of young horses or yearlings being sold in state has jumped up more than 175 percent from 2001 to 2016. There is 16 or so million dollars in the sire stakes program each year and many, many, many times that over are spent in raising and caring for and training uh, the horses to either be sold at auction or to go out there and race and earn the purses uh, either way. That effort put into breeding standard breads has also created jobs. In a 12-year span, jobs related to the industry have skyrocketed from 2,000 plus to more than 6,000. Whether they have to take care of the barns or take care of the horses or build the fences or veterinarian care or feed jobs or haying jobs, um, horseshoeing jobs, horse transportation jobs. There's just jobs on jobs. Some in the horse breeding industry say they're optimistic the trend will continue going up. In Montgomery, Caitlin Landers, Spectrum News.